What's up, family? Okay, this has to be a first. We have, coming out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, a Hastings police officer, a sergeant, who has said that he was subjected to racial taunts within the department after a genetic test that he took with Ancestry.com revealed that he was 18% black. Now, allow that to soak in for a moment. Now, this officer goes by the name of Cleon Brown. Sounds a little black, Cleon. Is that ethnic? Maybe his mama knew something his daddy didn't know. <laughs> Boy, the hits keeps coming in America. Now, this guy is accusing the police chief of calling him Kunta. Now, Kunta, for those of you who don't know, is an individual that was portrayed in Alex Haley's novel, Roots, also in the movie. Now, he also said that during Christmas, officers received stockings, and his stocking had the words 18% black on it. Now, this guy is suing the city. He is suing the police chief, the city manager, and the deputy chief. He going for the money, y'all. Now, the chief of police said, hey man, this is all Brown's fault because he's the one started this. He's the one that came over and told all the officers in the department that he took this DNA test and it revealed that he was 18% black. And he started making fun of it first. And then the other officers joined in. So I guess it got a little too real for him. And then he started getting a little pissed off about it. That could be the case. Then again, who knows? I don't believe police officers. They lie so much. I don't know who telling the truth, man. We talking about police officers. We talking about a culture of lying. Now, the city say that they're uncertain that uh, Brown is part of a protected class under civil rights laws, even assuming that the Ancestry.com results are valid. Racial discrimination laws are not designed to protect those who can demonstrate some trace amount of a particular race or geographic origin, the city said. So they're saying that they don't really know if he's covered, but I say they're going to figure out some kind of way to resolve it and they're going to give him some money. He's going to get that money. Now, this sounds like to me a classic case of a money grab. Now, he suddenly fears that he's being profiled. Really? So, he can't figure out if he's African or not. He's trying to figure out where the African came in. Now, that's, that's, that's the cold part of the game. <laughs> I bet his ass tossing and turning like, man, where is that African blood? Where did it come from? How did I get it? Where did it come from? Where did African blood come from? Oh, shit. Damn. Got that African blood in me. <laughs> he just can't figure it out. Now, now he gets to see what it's like for a black man to walk around in America. How people respond to blackness in America, how the idiots of America treat black people in America. Now, if this was a black man suing, first thing everybody would say, ah, he's lazy. He's trying to take advantage of the system. He needs to get a job. He's what's wrong 
with our country. We want our country back. That's what they'd be saying. Now, if he was 100% white and wasn't filing a suit, you know, he can talk about uh, how his coworkers felt. Saying that all of this stuff that they were saying, you know, like, all of these disparaging words that they were using aimed at black folks. If he was 100% white and wasn't filing a suit, we wouldn't even be hearing about none of this. It would all be cool. In fact, it was all cool before he found out he had that blackness in him. But let me tell you about that 100% white, y'all. Ain't nobody 100% white. Get used to it. You see, this is scientifically proven. This is not me just talking. This is the scientists all over the world has drawn the same conclusion from China to the United States of America to Africa to wherever you want to name, in all the parts of the world, all the greatest minds, the best of the best, has said that civilization started in Africa. Everybody is part black, if you go back far enough. Modern man came from Africa. All of our ancestors were black. All of your ancestors were black. All of them 100% of them. They were black. Light skin was a result of mutation. Okay? But since the blacks did not need dark skin to survive in the cold climates, it didn't affect them. So they became Caucasians. You dig what I'm saying? Hate to break it to you, man, but you black too. Every last one of them, even all the Ku Klux Klansmen, the KKK, imagine that. I don't give a damn how blue your eyes are. You're black. You got black in you. <laughs> I wish I could see some of y'all faces right now while y'all watching this video. <laughs> That shit is funny. Because <laughs> they know you're in denial and you know the truth. Because you believe the scientists for damn near everything else, you believe them. And like I say, this is independent studies that have been done over the years, time and time again. Same conclusion, Africa. Everything keeps coming back to Africa. The mother of civilization. Africa, Africa, Africa. Africa, Africa, Africa. Some of y'all, and I ain't just talking about white people. I'm talking about others too, uh, especially those of you who are uh, of uh, Latino descent. Uh, many Latinos try to run from their black heritage. Them and Indians, more than anybody, can't run from that. Your ass got it in you. Now, here's the deal. I'm just speaking facts. I couldn't give a damn what you are one way or another. I'm not trying to make somebody black that don't want to be black. I'm just giving you facts. Uh, Cause I just, the way I roll is that if you don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you, fuck you, I don't care one way or another. Like, so if if I wasn't who I, I am, I wouldn't be trying to claim what, I, what I'm not, something that I'm not. So the same, uh, you know, the same um, way that I would treat you or I would approach this type of topic with you, I'd do the same thing with me. I would hold myself by the same standards. I'm not trying to, like include 
nobody and nothing the fuck that I am or what I do who don't want to be included. So I'm just giving you facts. I could give a damn if you live the rest of your life in denial or not. I don't care one way or another. I'm just giving you the facts. And the fact is you're black. Now, some of us just been left in the oven a little too long, like y'all like to say. But the rest of y'all, you know how you can take a cookie and you could take a vanilla cookie and or you could put a cookie in, in the oven and you take that cookie out the oven and it might look vanilla, but you leave that motherfucker in there. It depend on how long you leave it in there. The shade going to turn darker and darker and darker. <laughs> Some of y'all just got out the oven a little too soon. Yo, man, if you like the videos I'm bringing to you, make sure you join the movement. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live. Join the movement, man. Hey, man, I ain't here to divide. I'm here to bring the people together. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah. Order Texas.